Hi. Today we are going to cook a stuffed eggplant. And this is part of the holiday meal series that we try to do to help people transition from uh, meat, in this case turkey, to uh, plant-based eating. So uh, it's stuffed eggplant. I'm going to put down the time we start is about 12.30. Um, I have the uh, items on the website, but we're going to use an eggplant for this, some flax seeds, and then some seasoning. So that would be uh, parsley, salt, pepper, um, three slices of bread, and some onions. And again, print it out from the website of, of what the ingredients are. And I'm going to make this dish a, as simple as, uh, as possible. And then you will learn how to, um, you will um, come up, add things for yourself. It's not, this isn't about, a, this is more about how to cook something and then you build on it knowing your tastes and, and desires and your life. So for starters, I'm going to make an egg replacement. Uh, and by doing that, at first I heat up. So I'm going to take one ta tablespoon of this and three of this. And I'm going to warm this at one, two. And here I take one tablespoon. This will be an egg replacer, which just kind of binds the whole mixture together. If, if you're trying to make something like turkey, turkey platter, then uh, you would use a lot of sage and or, um, I'm going to set that aside, uh, poultry seasoning to make it taste turkey-ish. So, for starters, now let me show you, um, we're going to have to take the eggplant and cut it up. When I buy veggies, I have, I can't go as often as I like, so I tend to buy it once on a, a certain day. So, here's my eggplant. I throw in a piece of apple into things like my coriander, my eggplant, cucumbers, and it really preserves them a very long time. So. I always do that, and then I close the uh, plastic. Then I wash it. The other parts of this recipe are we're going to need the three slices of bread, and then uh, I, I'm just using a few seasonings, but you can use other seasonings as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is open it up so that it can lie on a plate nicely. And it may have already gotten a little uh, oldish, so I'm going to just cut that away. Could be bruised, could be old, but uh, veggies are hard to come by. So, and I'm going to put it in here, and this is boiling water, and um, so I can scoop it out a little bit later. Okay. Close that and let that cook for about 10 minutes so I can scoop out the eggplant. In the meantime, I want to show you Daisy. Daisy. Hey, Daisy girl. Hey, Daisy. Hey, Daisy girl. So, Daisy's here helping me. Hey, get Sophia. I'll wash my hands. Okay. Daisy's blind, and she's getting dust. Oh, just love her so much. Okay, so I'm going to um, turn the uh, film off now, and I'll come back shortly. It's 12.35, I'm going to turn the, uh, the camera off. Okay, so I had to change my battery. It wasn't working. So it's 12.50. I'm going to turn these eggplants off, and I'm going to scoop them out now and mix them with this and then pop them in the oven. Now, um, if you recall, again, we're doing this for a uh, Thanksgiving medley. A dinner plate. Um, but you can also turn this into an Italian type. Pop, pop, pop. We're going to scoop it out. Leaving about a quarter of an inch of along the shelf. Um. Right, 
see some more. Okay. 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 And I'm going to add the flaxseed in now. We keep it kind of together. You see flaxseed here? It's become stiff. And that's what we use in all our, I use in all my baked goods. It's also a health food uh, drink. It's got loads of uh, minerals and other things. I don't recall right now. So I'm going to add that in. It, it gives it a little bit of a nutty taste. Now, again, if, you, if your uh, holiday meals would use... Uh, you would normally use nutmeg. Any of the seasonings you're used to, feel free to use them in this mixture. If it were Italian, uh, I would end it with uh, some crushed tomatoes or uh, tomato soup, which is vegan. Uh, if you check on the back, there's usually uh, just uh, corn syrup in it and salt. Now, because there's no milk, um, meat products in this, and no egg, I can actually taste this to see if... So, it's 12.55. This is hot. I'm just going to put some oil in here. Also, if you were doing an Italian version, you might use all uh, olive oil, and you might uh, add in um, an olive. We're just going to make a little uh, crumbs to put on top. We're going to add oil, about a tablespoon. So the whole recipe calls for about three tablespoons. Um, but because this is vegan and you're not getting any any fat from uh, uh, any meat or dairy, uh, you can actually, you know, use more oil than you otherwise would feel comfortable doing. So, it's almost 1 o'clock. I'm going to stick this in the oven and see how it, uh, how it comes out. Let me see if you can see it up close. There you go. If this had been a, an Italian medley with Italian seasonings, not mimicking a, a turkey dinner of sorts, you could use the um, condensed tomato soup. It is vegan. Uh, it has corn syrup and some other things in there. And, or crushed tomatoes, that's what I would use. I would even top it off with vegan, vegan Parmesan cheese. So here's what you'll have to adapt to yourself with the, uh, with the recipe. It's about 209. Uh, we put it in the oven at 105. Then at 120 off camera, I covered it. I put a um, you know, wrap on top of it because I didn't think it was, I thought it was going to uh, get dry and not cook. So I, um, I covered it at 120 and then here. Two, I took it out. So this will be for dinner with some side meals, but I would also um, definitely um, freeze it. So let's see. It looks pretty cooked. So I think this would actually get just falling apart. Very nice. I, I would like this with some Italian sauce and some spaghetti. But, um, and again, if it were a turkey uh, type of... Uh, Mimicking, trying to mimic a turkey dinner, I would have um, mashed potatoes and some veggies on the side. But I think this was a great success. To recap, um, we start at 12.30. It, it goes about an hour and a half. But your prep time is really only about a half an hour. And it's pretty easy beyond that. Thank you. Please, if you try it, let me know how it goes. Thank you. Bye. And then here's Daisy one more time. There's the girl. Bye, Daisy.